Rhythm is indeed the key to good sending. If your code is to mean anything to others in the radio net, then you've got to send rhythmically. Dits must be uniform and short. Das, uniform and long. Spacing, exactly right. Very small, tight spaces between the dits and das in a character. As the operator will now demonstrate, with letters that are all dits or all das. Each of them has a distinctive beat. There's the galloping sound. Hotel. No, it's not H. Think phonetically. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, and so on. This is Hotel. And it's printed military style by the numbers. One stroke down. Two down. Three across. We've added arrows to our lettering merely to remind you of the direction of each stroke. All right, this is hotel. Four dits, galloping like a horse in a hurry. Did it a dit, did it a dit. Why the hurry? To get to the hotel. Now the sound of the three beat letters, Oscar and Sierra. In combination, one particular combination, they've got a rhythm nobody misses. India is a quick little two-step. Mike clumps around heavy-footed. Our founder and benefactor, Mr. Samuel F. B. Morse, was a practical man. He reserved the shortest sound patterns for the letters we use the most. Echo, one lonely dit. And tango, one solid da. Now the beat is trickier but still easy enough to get in the characters that combine dits and das. Yankee, for example. No, slow it down. Da, de, da, da. That's a soldier changing step. Watch. Da, de, da, da. Yankee rhythm every time. Charlie's different. He's always changing step. Da, di, da, di. Juliet is a girl walking away mad. Di, da, da, da. And Romeo couldn't care less. Da, dit. In short, the pattern of dits and das and spaces gives a very special sound to each of the 36 characters in our code. And you cannot send that sound simply by counting out the dits and das and letting the spaces between them stretch out while you count. Romeo is not dit, da, dit. It's did I did? Listen. And you won't get Lima merely by adding one more dit. Dit, da, dit, dit. It falls apart when you stop that way. You must send the complete sound of Lima. Did I did it? Listen. Did I did? 
de da de dit. Two different sounds, two different beats, two different rhythms. So much for the spacing between the dits and da's of a character. Very tight and uniform. Spacing between the characters in a word or group is uniform too, but longer. A definite space or pause after a letter is completed, even when he speeds up. Are you wondering if proper spacing is really so important? Or is it no more than an extra refinement, the nice thing to do, like neat handwriting? If you think so, you're wrong, and I'll show you why. As you see, this word consists of a dit, a da, two dits, three da's, a dit, and two more da's. The operator will send these elements again, same number of dits, same number of da's, in exactly the same order. But this time, he will change the spacing a little. Dit for dit and da for da, they match. Only the spacing makes the difference between one word and the other. Those planes being described, are they merely flying low? Or are they enemy? I want to re-emphasize this important point about spacing. Tight spaces are used between dits and da's. Longer spacing to separate the characters. And even longer spacing than that between words and groups. Listen for the three different kinds of spacing in this phrase. Letter spacing and word spacing can be a little tricky when you're sending. If a word space is too short or a letter space is too long, the sense of the message may not get through. Say that this is what you want to send. O, T, space, H. And this is what you actually send. space, T, space, H. O, space, T, H. Is what the receiver thinks you're sending. You're trying to tell him you've just arrived. But the way he reads it, you're about to leave. Or you'd like people to believe you're working, but it comes out a weather report. The whole idea in hand sending is to produce these sounds and silences, the dits, da's, and spaces, in a swinging kind of rhythm that in time you will learn to feel. It's what experienced operators mean by smooth sending when they say another operator has a good fist. How does one acquire a fist that good? Actually, it's not too hard. Just do what the man says. Basic, essential, even obvious when you think about them. The first step involves equipment, which is where any rhythm making must begin. Certainly, musicians begin by tuning up their instruments. begin 
by checking out the operator's friend, the J38 hand key. This one was borrowed from a big operator. Thank you. For good hand sending, certain things about this key must be just right. You see these contacts? They must be lined up right. And the gap between them must be right. And this spring, which pushes the key lever back up every time you push it down, the tension here must be right. And that's about it. You align the contacts by turning these two trunnion screws. You open and close the gap by turning the space adjusting screw at the other end of the lever. You tighten the spring or slack it off by turning the spring tension screw. And once the screws are adjusted, lock nuts hold them in place. The procedure is to loosen things up first by opening the gap wide and releasing all spring tension. Now, align the contacts. Please notice that the trunnion screws hold the lever firmly to prevent wobble, yet freely enough to avoid bind. Next, set the gap. Make it fairly small. Four thicknesses of paper is just right. Then put some tension on the spring. Exactly how much is up to you. Now what has all this got to do with rhythm? Everything. If the gap is too wide or the spring too tight, you'll work too hard. The result? Da's cut short, ditch skipped over, spacing erratic. If the gap's too narrow or the spring's too loose, Dawes and Ditz will run together with no real spacing at all. But if your key is... But if your key is properly adjusted, you can make it sound like this. Which brings us to step two, developing the proper technique to work that key. Again, a musical analogy. Some performers never bother with technique. Others? In this business, the best technique is the one that's least tiring. Would you give us a hand, please? Huh? Oh, well, that's very good. There's no better way to get into a relaxed position. Elbow on the table, as if you were having a drink. Let your hand fall to the key. Keep your elbow on the table. You'll need the support. The wrist is limber and off the table. The fingers hold the key. Hold it. The fingers hold the key. They don't tap it, slap it, hit it. They hold it. Index and middle fingers on the button. Tips overlapping the edge a little. Thumb at the side. Ring and little fingers curled under. 
Note that the thumb is always against the side, or should be. You see, some people have what we call hitchhiker's thumb. Oh! Sorry. The point is, when your thumb's off the button, you work only your fingers with choppy results. Not to mention the strain on your hand. Movement should come from the forearm, a light movement, straight down, straight up. As in everything where form counts, send slowly but correctly right from the start, then gradually increase your speed. And that's step three, practice. So basic that we mention it only to pass along a hint or two on how to practice. You learn this skill by imitation. You improve your skill by constant self-appraisal. Listen to your own tapes every chance you get. Another way is to work with an RD-60 code recorder, Romeo Delta 60. This is particularly good because it gives you an inked record to study, a diagram of the sounds you send. In a moment, we'll project some of that tape on the screen. What he was sending was the standard test word, Paris. And there you are. Each peak is a dit or a da. Each valley, a space. This is excellent sending, uniform and rhythmic. This is an example of poor hand sending. Same word, Paris, but look at the difference. Irregular dits and da's, haphazard spacing, no uniformity, no rhythm. Now one last word. Out in the field, you'll use a key that clamps to your leg. Same key, same technique, except there's no place to rest your elbow. Even so, don't slap that key. Hold it. Steak? Say again. Steak? Yes. 